or building out other arms within your business. As you may have heard through other entrepreneurs, other motivational speakers, every business or every entrepreneur should have at least seven streams of income. These streams of income don't necessarily have to be different, meaning I don't have to do real estate, do hair and fashion, or do tutoring, or have bake sales on the weekends. Like The seven streams of income can come from one business. So what do I mean by that? So if you're experiencing a, a, a lull or, or a slow period right now with your business, or you don't have any business, but you have the skills, zone in on those skills and, and see how you can offer them as a service to other realtors, brokers, transaction coordinators, escrow officers, whatever the case may be. Maybe you want to build out a course. Maybe you want to start a YouTube channel. Maybe you want to start a podcast. Let's think about transaction coordination as a whole. Maybe you're not getting everything as a whole right now, so you want to pivot and you want to offer services to people in your neighborhood or your area, your county, your state that do uh, files in your same area. Transaction coordinators need a vacation. It's currently right now, it's August 2022, and I'm about to take my first international vacation in four years. Every trip I've taken in between that has either been, well, has been local in the United States and I've always had my laptop on either in the background or I was checking my phone. Like I, didn't, I never really disconnected because I didn't really have a trust system built in place to, or I didn't feel like the time away was worth bringing someone on. And as I've worked more on myself, I realized, you know what, I have to work on that trust system and, and finding someone, whether it's hiring someone that offers this type of service, that a, a virtual assistant or contacting my broker to see if they have anyone available to help me cover. And I know it can be scary because one, it's almost like you're doing double or triple of the work before you're even leaving because you want to make sure that you're explaining this correctly to someone. And it definitely helps to have someone cover that knows what they're doing. But if you can offer this as a service, I'm pretty sure it could be very lucrative because TCs need help, you know, and you can also just offer temporary help weekly, monthly, whatever the case may be, and just bill hourly or buy the file, whatever it is and whatever works for you and, and, and the person you're willing to help, build out another part of your business. Maybe you need to get an office job. Maybe it's time to have your nine to five fund your business, right? Like if things are slow right now, look into possibly getting an office job or a retail job or a customer service job or a job in an industry where you know it could enhance your skills. Having high level skills can help you in any, or if, if not all, most industries. Unless you're trying to be a surgeon, then we want to make sure we take all the proper steps to become a surgeon or a doctor um, and an attorney, a therapist, psychiatrist, but you get the idea. You want to make sure that your next steps when you pivot are in, a, in alignment with what you're currently doing, if that's what you so desire. So if you want to stay in real estate, but right now your business isn't doing so well, consider applying for jobs locally or look for remote work throughout the country that's available to you that can also feed into what you're doing and help you network and build and simply pay the bills to be honest for, that's what, that's what we're all doing this for is to survive to have some fun to pay the bills keep the lights on keep the internet going so we can watch our favorite streaming shows on a weekly daily basis but there are many ways to break down the actual job of a transaction coordinator. You could be a virtual assistant, offer, like I said, offer a traveling coverage service, um, help upload, split documents, tag things on DocuSign. If you know your work day with the business you currently have only takes up about two hours and you're willing to work an eight hour day, use the next six hours of the day to help someone else point blank period so and have some some, some sort of offering like a, a sheet a breakdown that you can send to people 
Same way you would market to realtors. You, now you're just kind of pivoting and marketing to transaction coordinators or, or still to agents because they may not need all of the services of a transaction coordinator. They just, they may need, they just may need a couple of services. Be flexible and like I said, pivot accordingly. You could also offer contract services. I know I've said multiple times that I personally don't write up contracts and that's a personal preference in my business. Um, it's just a lot of liability. Um, my area of focus is just not on that right now, but it doesn't say that you can't offer it as a service. But keep in mind, you do have to be a licensed realtor, know your contracts inside and out and be insured and be willing to accept any liability or, or any backlash that may come with that territory. So tread lightly, but also consider it as a service for your business. Also MLS input. There's, you know, everything that has to be done with throughout a transaction, break up those tasks into itemized services that you can provide as a transaction coordinator. The vacation one is probably my favorite. I'm not going to lie. Cause I'm just thinking about that. I, I've considered providing it as a service, but there have just been times in my business where things just are up and down and I haven't really invested too much time into that, but I don't know. Stay tuned. So through all of that pivoting, just think of all of the high value skills that you could ultimately monetize to help you during this time of slowness, of insecurity, uncertainty, and build your confidence as you go and grow as you go as well.